there are so many interesting subcultures that have come uh, into fray, uh, subcultures under this wonderful uh, hobby of fountain pen collecting that we have. Now, one of them, of course, is ink, and uh, you can never have enough of inks. But the other one, of course, is about notebooks. And th there is so much happening in the world of notebooks globally. And uh, it's not uh, to say that uh, we are uh, left out. Uh, as a matter of fact, while not there are not as many players in this notebook segment in India as we fountain pen lovers would have loved to have. But one company that's constantly chipping away at the base or uh, working to expand the horizons of notebooking or journaling is Endless Recorders. Now, this is a fantastic brand a fantastic Indian brand, a kind of a brand that gives you so much of pleasure to be Indian and of course by Indian is endless and um, we will be talking about uh, some of their products in this video. As a matter of fact, I will take more time to do this video than I normally do because I will break this down into two segments, I uh, hope to. Uh, in the first one, I'll show you uh, this uh, endless observer that has come. <clears throat> and in the second part, what I will do is I will have ink swap tests in this notebook so that you can uh, see how it feels. But uh, let me show you the kind of uh, lens to which these guys go. Look at this very personalized letter that has come uh, with this uh, notebook and uh, the packaging is also good. So this is the Endless Observer. I also have with me the Endless Explorer, which is, you know, of course, bigger and uh, uh, is more firmly packed. And there are also these Endless uh, Creative Blocks so uh, I am just showing them to and it also comes with this uh, personal very personalized letter that uh, uh, accompanies the products. What we will do is I am not going to open this up uh, right now. What I will do is I will uh, open it up uh, have ink swaps of different colors and uh, you know uh, present uh, the complete video to you so that you not only see how beautiful it looks and how beautiful it feels but also see how beautifully it works. Now I am saying this uh, from a point where I have a lot of experience, uh, prior experience with uh, endless products. That's why I can say this with so much of certainty about the quality of the product, about uh, these notebooks, but I want you to see them. Like I can't show you the earlier uh, notebooks because of the personal, very personal jottings that I had done. Uh, so I don't want to share them with you for uh, obvious reasons. But this one, what I'll do is, and I, I use them primarily for uh, uh, writing. I always use fountain pens. So I will be using ink swaps and ink tests on these papers and uh, on this particular uh, notebook or journal or whatever you call it whatever you may choose to call it and uh, share it with, with you. It's, uh, but uh, to begin with, you know, the design is so great. This has been designed so well. It's so well uh, packed. I'll open the plastic uh, perforation. It's so well packed. It's so thoughtfully put together in as a packet. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, 
it's so thoughtfully put, put together and uh, the paper uh, look at it this is so beautifully done and uh, you know the usual the grades uh, very beautifully done the stitching is absolutely perfect the look and feel this is, is uh, such a pastel gorgeous look with a a, a black spine and endless uh, etched in here with uh, a sleeve jacket wherein it all goes to get, uh, goes inside so this is it this is the endless observer and uh, i hope to uh, this is of course a tgsm paper and the paper is acid free which is a huge thing uh, uh, there are 187 pages and yes it does i mean one of the things is whether it lies flat on the spine and it does you see right from the, the beginning it uh, lies flat on its spine and uh, this is one of the hallmarks of a uh, well stitched notebook and the stitching is as good as it gets it's as near perfect as possible and uh, this is a beautiful notebook and I'm sure I'm going to love using it and uh, I'll, 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 I'll love it even more if uh, you guys like it too so that's it thank you uh, please wait for the written samples thank you uh, we have the endless observer and like as i was telling you this is regalia paper uh, this is not demo river as some people uh, were asking me this is 80 gsm acid free paper with a dotted page layout now what i have been doing is i have been extensively using this to test inks and uh, i'll just show you uh, a few samples i've been doing it and uh, i have had to do it very fast because uh, the you know we were uh, seriously running the risk of uh, getting out of schedule so what i did was i have used these inks here on the right hand side this is the water taste like after the ink has dried up i have uh, brushed uh, water over it to see uh, what kind of uh, characteristics that this particular ink has I've also drawn, tried to draw something or the other with uh, the same ink here using the same pen. Now uh, this is, uh, and this has details about the ink and the pen. And these are all January 2023. This is uh, line drawings. And this is where I have tried and uh, tried to see how wet the ink is. So this is what I have done. And these are different inks that you can see uh, some lovely, some not so striking, some very uh, bright and bold and different colors, mostly, uh, you know, uh, mostly Suleka inks. I've used other inks also, like this one for example is Dayton and you can see how much uh, the colors have given away. Now most of you will notice that in most of this paper uh, the ink has bled through uh, on the other uh, side of the paper on the right hand side of the paper here uh, only uh, some uh, very strongly like this this is Suleka Somodpon's Ma ink which uh, has little or no uh, you, you know bleed through this is Suleka Red, for example. This is Lapis Bird. This is the cat, Cranberry Sangria. Now, unfortunately, uh, you know, see, this has lost its texture. Now, these are other uh, inks. This is a Lamy ink. 
this is also bled through here. Uh, this is Robert Oster, which uh, did not really uh, live up to the mark. Uh, these are other, this is a light blue ink. This is again Dayton black, as I was telling you. You keep looking at this side to see how much. But the you know, good thing uh, about the paper is that it is beautifully held up. Uh, this is the characteristic of the ink, uh, which has gone through all the inks mostly. But uh, it's the paper that's uh, held up so beautifully. Look at this ink. This is so bright yellow. This is one ink that has not yet been launched by Suleka. But uh, this is the yellow. I don't know what they're going to call it. But uh, I had asked for some samples and they were very kind to provide me with some samples to work on. So this is the bleed through as you can see. And um, these are all the inks that I have been trying and uh, I hope to work more with the inks. And uh, you know for example I cannot find my parallel uh, pilot pens too because I want to draw parallel lines and see and most of the pages you'll also find uh, you know these are the earbuds that I have used to spread the inks and with the earbuds I have also written something or the other here to see how uh, I mean but I want to do the same thing with the parallel uh, pen and um, show you samples of the same paper probably at a later date with a, a, a bigger video when I uh, have more uh, this thing uh, more examples to share with you uh, not a, well like I said not all inks work well with uh, on all paper and uh, that's about it but uh, this is overall how do I read this exercise book? Uh, I mean, this notebook, uh, I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with it and uh, it's it's good. I mean, I, I, I love using, I, I love using their products. I have this uh, weakness for endless products and uh, that's it. But I, I, I will certainly come back uh, uh, with more but before we go, I just, you know, uh, this is the new click demonstrator pen. And um, let me just write something uh, for you guys to see how it writes. This is in happiness. Hope you enjoyed and if you did please do the needful in the social media so that uh, we can uh, you know get the kind of viewership that uh, we are aspiring for but before I close let me ah, ah incidentally this is the yellow submarine that we all live in and uh, I just wanted to close the story on this paper on this bright yellow note on this very bright happy note thank you goodbye